Hey everyone, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair and this is a hack suggestion that may help you save some hundred bucks or so on uh, Sony XBR 65X930D the same goes for 55X930D and the same goes for many many other Sony's because as you will see the problem and this is the Sony here uh, the problem that I'm going to be talking about is in the little board that takes input power from the power converter, uh, which for this TV is ACDP-240E02. Now that thing costs about, I don't know, 120 last time I checked. And uh, the cable, which is a proprietary cable that provides the power from the Sony from the plug-in to the Sony, and which is just 24 volts, very, very strange connector cable that is around here. Well, this cable tends to go bad. Um, I have made another video on a different model. I don't remember which one where I said, you know what, screw just solder things here. But if it just so happens that this also goes bad, and it's got a pain in the butt to repair, it is openable, it is repairable. But if it is the connector itself that you need to repair, now you're screwed and if you get a tv like us here uh, without that module um, or if it is beyond repair then you'll have to go and buy one for well over a hundred dollars where all you need really is a uh, ac dc power supply that provides you with 24 volts at 10 amps yeah 24 volts at 10 amps and you can find them on eBay. Meanwell is a good manufacturer. There are a bunch of others. This is a very, very generic power supply. Got on eBay for maybe 25 bucks. And uh, it has a standard on the left side. It is a standard uh, live neutral ground. And as you can see, this label up there on the output, it has a common, common, common. This is ground, ground, ground. And then plus V, plus V, plus V. And then it has a voltage adjuster on the side it is producing 24 volts at 10 amps and guess what uh, all you have to do here is do a little soldering work now there is a small hole i choose a connector you can choose anything just make sure that it's stable and reliable enough this is something that i found somewhere in in the box of my ac works around the building it is carrying 10 amps uh, it is important for this to carry because the TV is rated 250-225 watts at uh, 24 volts DC is what uh, this unit is powering so it's got to be able to carry 10 amps that means at least a millimeter uh, cable make it shorter uh, the less connections the less soldering general stuff but all in all this is 25 bucks on eBay. You can use uh, regular clips, you know, the ones that are lock nuts that you can buy on eBay, just, uh, sorry, on uh, Home Depot. If you get them on eBay, uh, get the good ones because there is a lot of Chinese crap out there that will mislead you. One thing that I like to say is, now this is just a generic, uh, cable that connects for this I just use the computer cable and for this I just use the generic power TV cable that I cut on both sides and uh, this is what is connecting my DC module to the TV I'm gonna close it in a minute I'm gonna leave this hanging out so one can use both this and that and uh, this package is for a commercial um, unit meaning that this power supply is supposed to stay inside something inside a box but it's grounded and uh, you can always in, in, in this particular case it will be staying behind the TV so there will be no risk there is very little risk anyhow because it is grounded and on one side you have something that you can hack up for 25 30 dollars and uh, 30 minutes on your time and on the other you have 130 150 dollars and i've seen cable alone being sold for 80 dollars uh, so you know go the practical routes we all have the money <laughs> it's, it's not about that apparently uh just something that you can do i'm going to put it together and show you Oh, I, I could show you that it is working even right now. 
let me see. Unless I've disconnected it. Nope, there it goes. So, this is how it is. And uh, of course, you can bypass this whole board if you want. I just I chose to let it there so that I can have both connectors. Uh, and this is it. We're gonna put it together and hang it on the wall outside in a, next week. Best of luck.